it's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool x-ray kind of scanning effect that you guys saw in the beginning of this video. I'd like to give a special thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring today's video. Storyblocks is a stock library that allows you to use royalty-free assets like video, audio, and images to make your projects all that more exciting without sacrificing your vision due to time, budget, or resources. They have a growing 1 million plus high quality assets so you can choose the perfect clip to make video transitions and effects. Storyblocks has a popular unlimited all access plan that gives you access to unlimited downloads of anything from their library. Whether you need to find the perfect asset or if you're working on a time-sensitive project, look no further. Get access to their growing library of HD and 4K footage, After Effects templates, motion backgrounds, music tracks, sound effects, and much more. Go to storyblocks.com slash kingtutspro to view what they have to offer. I'll leave a link to storyblocks in the description of this video. I do want to let you know that in order to actually create this effect, you do need some type of a schematic kind of footage or video so you can find that anywhere online I'm sure you can find it on YouTube but the video that we're going to be using is going to be from Storyblocks and uh, it's really really cool and it's an HD so I suggest you guys visit the link in the description along with the actual link so you guys can check out Storyblocks so all right so what you want to do is go into storyblocks.com but what I did is I just typed in x-ray in the search when you do search you can find different types of videos that you prefer or something that would suit your project so in this case you can choose which one you think looks the best I went down and selected this one which is the x-ray skeleton anatomy view you can also click this little download icon and if you click on this button you can do a direct download so you can do this one here or the H uh, the HD MP4 uh, so once you're on this site here what you want to do is select one of these two and click download and this will download that footage directly to your computer this is the video that we're gonna be working on right so it looks super cool and again, it's just like a x-ray video. This is the footage we're gonna be working on. Yours can be very different, but in this case, we're gonna be working with this one. Have your video in the timeline. And the video that we're gonna be working on is roughly two seconds long from a music video, which I'll link in the description below. And it's very quick. So what you wanna do first is have your video in the timeline. We're gonna drag the x-ray video above our media like that. We're gonna press Shift Z and we don't want to actually, if you're gonna be using this, do not want to trim this down because it's already kind of playing back really slow. I mean, that's just the normal speed of the video, but what we wanna do is we wanna speed it up. So press Command R to bring up the retiming options and we're gonna to go to the end and we're gonna click this little like line and we're gonna click and drag this to fit our video, which is about here. It's gonna be about 785%. So if you go back and push play, It'll play like this, which is what we want. Now that we have that, we're gonna select the main video, which is this one at the bottom. Press Command R to get rid of that. We're gonna hold Option and drag upwards above our X-ray clip. Uh, once we are here, what we're going to do is we're gonna go into the effects. We're gonna go into King and we're gonna go into Luma here. We're gonna click and drag this onto our main clip. Now that you have that applied, you're gonna go into the Luma here in the Inspector tab over here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna click on Invert so it inverts the colors so that the blacks will affect the highlights over here. And it's a little bit weird, but you wanna go ahead and just play around with the Luma here and this as well just to get the effect that we're gonna be doing in this video. So we're gonna drag these shadows over to the highlights so that it only affects the highlights like this. Okay, and don't worry about our subject right now. We're gonna mask that out in a little bit. So I wanna kind of create a very kind of dramatic effect just about here. And we're gonna move the highlights over to the left, uh, but don't get too, too crazy because this will bring back those shadows. So just kind of, you know, go something like this maybe. Once you have these settings here like I do, go ahead and uh, we're gonna select the top clip here. We're gonna hold Option and drag upwards to make a copy. So both of these clips are the exact same, but we're gonna be selecting the top one and we're gonna go into effects. We're gonna go into masks. We're gonna to go to draw mask and drag that onto our top clip. Then we want to disable the Luma here for that video. So uncheck this box. So now this is just gonna be the normal video and we want to mask out our subject and keep only him and remove everything else. So to do that, it's very simple. What you wanna do is move the playhead at the beginning. I'm gonna zoom out from this window to 50%. I'm gonna click here. I wanna go kind of like this actually. And it's affecting mostly his head. Kinda of wanna make a decent selection of our subject. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Once we are here, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with the pen tool. We're gonna to go back to fit and it's gonna look something like this. Now, all we're gonna do is go into transforms. We're gonna open that and add a keyframe next to position, add one next to rotation, as well as scale. 
And then we're gonna go into control points and just add a key from there as well. So once you have that, we're gonna have our plan at the beginning. Then all you're gonna do is press shift right on the arrow key to looks like 10 frames. We're gonna move these points over and we're gonna do the same thing. So at 10 frames, hold shift and press right on the arrow key to go another 10 frames to the right and just move these points back to where this is, which is gonna be about here. And don't worry about the selection so far, we're gonna adjust that in a little bit. So uh, this looks good, we might wanna fix this around his beard. Okay, and then you're gonna hold shift right on the arrow key again and just do the same thing. All right, so once you're finished moving those control points, you're gonna go back and push play and see what it looks like. Yeah, there's gonna be some areas that look a little bit weird and that's just because we added a lot of points, but the fewer points, the smoother it'll look. And now depending on the video, I mean, if you have a video that's like, you know, there's a lot of movement going on, this will still work, but you will have to do a lot more keyframing. But if you have a video that's really like simple like this, then it will look really great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the draw mask, select this and select the clip with it. We're gonna go into feather, unclick that. We're gonna go into feather and just move this to the left or drag it to the right. I'm gonna drag this to the left a little bit and you might have to move these points back. So around here, we're gonna click back on the draw mask and we're gonna move this point back out here. Perfect, so now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna look like this. Now I could have made a better selection if I had more time on the right side of his head if we're looking at it this way. But if I push play, it looks just like that. And what we can do with the actual background clip, we can create so many things with this. So we can go into effects, we can go into blur, and we can go into focus blur, and we drag that onto our clip. This will create a really cool blur like this, kind of mimic that blur that's already on that video. We're gonna move this right around here, kind of like on his forehead, but we're gonna increase the amount or you can decrease it. So we're gonna increase it just a little bit and we can increase the softness and then the width will control kind of like the X axis. So if we drag it into the left, it'll look just like that. So this is a before and after. It's very, very subtle, but it looks really cool and it makes it look a lot more realistic. So you can go into distortion and go into fisheye and drag this onto that. And you can create a really weird effect like this. And another thing you can do is you can also add a color change. So you can select the video, which is the x-ray clip here. So if you click on the highlights over here, which is this white circle, this will change the actual white areas on that clip. So this will change pretty much the main colors you want to change. So I think for the video, I think pink would look really cool for some reason. So if I push play, It'll look just like that. So yeah, I mean, if you guys found this video helpful at all, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. Be sure to visit the link in the description to Storyblocks. Until then, peace out.